Hello everyone and welcome back to another a must see chess game from the history of chess from year 2000 and in this chess game we have Alexander Morozovich with the white pieces and his opponent his Predrag Nikolic. Both were strong chess grandmasters so Alexander Mor Morozovich is known as uh, for his unorthodox style, uh, for his creative attacking style and this chess game is a very beautiful interactive chess game. So white starts the game with pushing the e4, e pawn to e4, e6 by Predrag Nikolic. And black is playing the French defense and this is already unusual uh, by Alexander Morozovic. He is playing with his unorthodox style. So this is uncommon, d5, queen to e2, developing the queen. This is already quite interesting. So Alexander Morozovic is playing creatively and he is avoiding the theory. This is something rare in these days, especially uh, when we consider modern chess grandmasters in today, uh, how they are playing the first 15 or even 20 moves, computer moves. Uh, so Alexander Morozovich was extremely creative and aggressive. Now watch this chess game, d takes on e4, exchanging the pawns, and then e5, knight to f3, knight to d7, developing the knights, and then c6, b3, queen up, bishop to b2, and then a5, g3, and bishop to h3, f6, a4, bishop to b4, and both players castled. Now, both players are fighting for the better position. There is nothing too interesting so, uh, right now. Bishop to c3, and then b6, bishop to d2, knight to d6, exchanging the knights, and exchanging the bishops, and c3, so Alexander Morozovich is planning to play b4. Knight to e6, rook over, rook over, and then b4. Exchanging the pawns, and this knight is looking dangerous. Knight can jump on a6, forking the rook and the queen. Bishop takes on b4, c takes on b4, and then c5. Pinning the pawn, and attacking the a-pawn, defending... So this was also pinning the knight, so I'm pinning the knight. Ooh, rook to d5, it looks like a natural move, targeting the weak pawn and pushing the pawn, maybe white can create a pass pawn. Attacking the rook, and where is the rook going? Alexander Morozovic is defending his rook, and black captured the free pawn. Black is a pawn up, and what would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? Which move is the best move for white? Black is a pawn up, but the cost is heavy because white has counter-attack in this position. Can you see that move? Queen to f7, queen in, and this is looking very dangerous, attacking the knight and infiltrating on the 7th rank. So there is no time for attacking the queen because of capturing the knight. So first defending the knight and Morozovic is creating a pass pawn. Capturing the other pawn because uh, obviously in this position white is threatening to capture the pawn and that is may maybe game over for black so what else and can you see the best move for white? Of course the rooks are better behind the pawns rook to b1 and after defending the queen pushing the pawn attacking the rook and after defending the rook this is already looking pretty dangerous getting in with the rook rook to d7 and queen goes back for the defense and now what would you do in this position Alexander Morozovic the fierce attacker the modern Mikhail Tal of our times he played a very aggressive and a beautiful move which square of white is the most inactive and the most passive piece uh, what would you do in this position well the bishop looks like an inactive piece, so how to activate the bishop? Which square is the most dangerous square for black in this position when you place that bishop? How it is going to be dangerous for black? Did you see? Bishop to h6. This is the move by Alexander Morozovich, and he is threatening checkmate in two moves. Bishop takes on g7. Knight takes on g7, queen takes on g7, checkmate, so defending with the rook. 
Obviously, in this position, capturing the bishop is out of questions because of getting checkmated and there is no defense. So this is why bishop to h6, rook over. And now, can you see the best move? Constantly, Alexander Morozovich played the best moves one after another. Every move of white is a threat. The move is rook from b to d1 and can you see the threat? Rook from 1 to d6, forking queen and the knight and that's losing a piece. So kicking the queen somewhere else and now another, here comes another threat by Morozovic. Would you defend the queen? Did you see? Bishop takes on g7, this is the move. And knight takes on g7 happened and in this position, if rook takes on g7, then capturing the rook. And after knight takes on f8, promoting the queen and threatening checkmate, so there is no time for capturing the rook. And this is looking pretty grim for black and black is suffering big time. This is resignable of course, this is all over. So this is why bishop takes on g7, but after knight takes on g7, now can you see the next move for white? What would you do in this position? Consider this as a small daily chess puzzle. It is white to move and win. I'm going to wait for 3 seconds. Well, the move is queen takes on f8, rook takes on f8, what else? And then came Rook to d8 by Alexander Morozovich, sporting the b-pawn and a black plate knight to e6. If capturing the very dangerous, extremely dangerous pawn, this is not defending the king, getting checkmated. And after Rook to d8, knight to e6, exchanging the rooks and promoting the queen. Beautiful, spectacular and incredible. Black is defending the knight, checking the king and then queen in and after this move, Black was not optimistic about his position and he decided to resign. Let's check out the possible continuation, some random move and capturing the pawn and it is falling apart as you can see. And if knight to g6, actually there is nothing Black can do, this is attacking the knight so infiltrating with the rook and this is also looking very dangerous. Uh, attacking as you can see and uh, defending is not so easy so this is why after queen to f7 black resigned every move was a threat by alexander morozovic what a game what a game a very instructive beautiful chess game by the fierce attacker the creative attacker with his unorthodox style he avoided the theory he didn't play like a computer he decided to play like Mikael Tal. Uh, seriously, the first 20, 15, 20 moves of the modern chess grandmasters today is mostly computer moves, yet Morozovich plays creatively. That's his style, a, an amazing chess player. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye bye.